my name is Karen O'Brien and today we're going to talk about the town of Waltham, Massachusetts. I'll tell you a little bit about real estate prices, restaurants, commuting, and the diversity. I will be right back. So most people driving on Route 95 slash Route 128 north and south know Waltham specifically because this highway goes right through it on the western edge of Waltham. There's four exits into Waltham on this highway. Years ago it was the Technology Highway. It's got international businesses located in this area. It's not just technology, it's um, pharma, science, engineering. Years of Waltham are Raytheon, Care.com, Perkin Elmer, Constant Contact, and Thermo Scientific. There's many more. It's also developed in the last five or 10 years even more in that Boston Children's Hospital has uh, a satellite hospital there, Mass General Hospital. So it's quite, quite a thriving commercial area as well. And Waltham has three heliports, you can understand the business, the medical, etc. Waltham is located in Middlesex County in Massachusetts, and the population is about 62,000, which is about double a lot of the popular suburban areas outside of Boston. Schools are rated on greatschools.org as five and six, but there are at least five choices of private schools, both non-denominational and with religious affiliates. Single-family homes run from mid-century ranches to Victorian and early 20th century homes. There are plenty of two-family homes as well. One of the cons I noticed is the curb appeal can be missing from a lot of homes that are beautifully renovated inside. There is also a lot of diversity in Waltham. 24% of the population is foreign-born. That makes the pluses being fabulous restaurants. There is so many different kinds of restaurants. They're located on Main Street and Moody Street in downtown Waltham. Add that to the really good choices of gastropubs in the area and you have great variety for a lot of the local workers to mix and mingle after work. So the nightlife is pretty good in Waltham. Waltham's also home to Brandeis University and Bentley College, which is a business-focused college. Now on a map, counterclockwise, Waltham is surrounded by Arlington, Lexington, Lincoln, Weston, Newton, and Watertown. There's as much diversity in home choices as well. Now parallel to Moody Street is Riverwalk. So there's lots of restaurants on Moody Street and you can walk a couple of blocks west and Riverwalk is the Charles River and a lovely couple of mile long walk feels very much like an urban area. It's very densely populated. Now let's talk numbers, shall we? I am gonna read from these two reports I just printed hot off the press. It's mid-October 2020. So for the last three months, here's what's going on. Now I understand that the real estate market's hot because people aren't necessarily selling, but the ones who are selling have multiple buyers. So it's a seller's market. And if you were thinking about selling, now's the time. But aside from that, because the rates are so low, people can afford more house and that's what's driving up the prices. So I'll tell you what's going on in Waltham, in the condominium market. Now, interestingly enough, Waltham has a pretty equal condo and single family house market. In these 90 days, 82 condominiums closed. The average price was $577,000, but the median price was $535,000. So that means half, half of the sales were higher and half of the sales were lower. So $535,000 was the median price. Um, 41 days on the market, 25 to offer. Less than a month, people are 
making offers and getting into contract and that is reflective of the low interest rate um, single family homes on the other hand same thing 95 in the last 90 days that's one sold home a day um, median price 699 so 700 the median price the average price 736 let me tell you as a little bonus, single family homes. There were one sold at 376, 435, 467, 550, 646. So there are still some bargains out there. This will give you an idea if you are thinking of getting into the market. Here's what you need to know. The interest rate is low. You're gonna lock that in. A few years from now, if you say, oh, I'm ready, and the interest rate is five or 6%, you're gonna be able to afford less home. So once you lock in, I, if your finances are pretty secure right now, this is what you wanna do. Anyway, I don't mean to get off on a tangent. This video is about Waltham. Thank you for watching. Uh, please check, I'll do another video on why the market is so primo for buyers right now and primo for sellers, especially if there's competition. Anyway, thanks for watching my video on Waltham, and that was my dog, and I will see you next Wednesday with a new video. Mm -hmm.